Hi. Hey. Who Hello? the fuck are you? Hey, guys. Uh, oh, okay. I have to go first. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, Justin here, a.k.a. JB. My memory from the Mandy episode and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Yep. And, of course, though, someone's back. I haven't seen him in a little bit. Yeah. Hudson's with us. Of course. Hello. Produ- producer Hudson. Mm-hmm. Play like legal counsel. Yeah. Uh, Hudson, you want to tell everyone we watched? We watched a little gym. I had to fight. Well, I didn't have to fight hard for it, but I had to do some convincing to get it watched. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, and I, I, I didn't say it was going to be a masterpiece. You just have to see how weird it is. Uh, but we watched the 1996 uh, film Space Truckers. Yeah. Uh, Why well, had never seen it? Now, JB, I, I had, this, had never but... heard of it. <laughs> Which is weird because if it was by Stuart Gordon, I know I've been on his his Wikipedia page and because I've watched a lot of Stuart Gordon films, I get him and Brian Usna confused. Mm. They both don't read. They both right. I, they both do cool ass movies. And um, kind of like that. I get to. They might have. I get to be you guys, um, uh, the listeners. I get to be. We're gonna do a little storytelling uh, here. The, uh, the virgin listener here and try to come up with some questions for these guys to go. What the fuck made you watch this movie, and how much did they pay Dennis Hopper? Um, <laughs> Academy <laughs> nominated or award? I'm wondering winning? that too. I can't remember. Nominated that. probably. I, I don't think Hopper. I don't think Hopper won an Oscar. I think probably he's nominated. nominated. Did yeah. you guys know Randy Quaid got nominated at one point? Mm-hmm. Anyways, the, I digest. I just uh, this honestly doesn't seem like a movie that Dennis Hopper wanted to be in or would be in i don't know it just seemed like a weird fit at first but it, yeah it works the only person i could have possibly saw in his role would have been christopher walken only other person i could have uh, been. fucking only because i think they're both at that later stage in their career where they start taking like buckets yeah i always like really, i wouldn't really consider that movie a fuck it though that movie the movie was really interesting well i meant like for the point he's at because he's old like he was dead in like 14 years he's probably like, whatever even if it's shitty or something, yeah. you don't have to fucking be concerned with it being a, a hit. I don't think it was a hit because uh, I think me and Hudson both came to the conclusion that ours was viewed, or we viewed this both on HBO because it replayed a lot. Yeah. And uh, that's the only place I ever saw. This was not a rental or nothing. I'd never heard of it because like, little kid me would have loved this movie probably. Yeah. What, and, was the, uh, what was the year on it? Pleasure? 1996. Yeah. Okay. Um, y'all keep going. I'm going to be the lore master here, and I am uh, actually ah, looking not up really much. where... <laughs> there's not really it? much lore well, in this no, movie. Not the movie itself, but I'm going to find out where exactly Dennis Hopper was in his life in 1996, what he had been working on recently, and what he was going towards. Well, while, while you do that, we'll give you a brief overview of the plot. Uh, basically, it's a couple hundred and a half years in the future, yeah, I think it was like twenty two sixty seven or something. I never saw a day. Uh, basically, uh, space has truckers, just like we have truckers here uh, here on Earth today. Um, and Dennis Hopper is one of these truckers. Yeah, and he takes a load of dangerous freight along with his two companions, um, and all the while uh, runs into hijinks with uh, hot dog or uh, pork <laughs> station managers, played by <laughs> Cheers is George Went. Yeah, uh, yeah, who got a very neat death in this movie. Yeah, watch the death scene from Space Truckers, even if you don't watch the uh, the rest of the film. Right, JB, this this is the type of film that, what I'm about to explain to you, they're in a space station, in space. They have space trucking, it's a thing. And and, and it's much like that space trucking episode of Cowboy Bebop. Like yeah, aesthetic. that's the only thing you have But, but think, think more like Grease and Cowboy Hats. Either way, it's not here or there. At one point, someone shoots a gun and shoots one of the portholes. At a diner. Immediately explodes and like decompression. And yeah. uh, the guy from Cheers like goes ass first, and he's just like gets stuck, and he's like, "Oh, okay, I'm cool." Then he's like, "Oh shit!" and starts sucking him out. No blood, like a blood. And, and, and jo- exactly, George Went is you know the size you know George Went from you know playing Norm from Cheers. He's a generally larger fellow. The porthole is only about as, as big around as like a dinner plate. Yeah. Let's go back to the fact that there's space diners in space. It, it's, like, a, it's just part it's like a I, part of the truck stop. I, either, either way though. There's truck stops in space. This like, is, this, lot lizards this, and everything. This is a space truck stop who does not have portholes into fucking the <laughs> void of space that can withstand a bullet. 
Don't you think bulletproof portholes should be like standard? Shouldn't on, that be a thing? I mean, shutters I have, that come down. I, those I have so, that, many, or so that. many questions. Like, see, that's the kind of, that's on a, the mud flaps. Are they? Oh yeah, alien? they have mud. Flaps. Are they alien? I women? saw mud flaps. At I, I, or are no. they human women on the mud flaps? We, we have that, we have no confirmation of aliens in this universe. This just might be a at the space truck station. Yeah. Are we getting egg salad sandwiches? Or uh, are we a getting, square pigs. Yeah, they yeah, have, square they have nasty the square pigs. It's gross. Like, if you turned on the space trucker uh, AM radio, are you getting Hank Williams Jr.? Or are In you that getting universe, Hank yeah. Williams yeah. But non-licensed. There are no licensed songs in this film. Yeah, there's too many fucking cowboy heads yeah. in this wow. film. Okay, well, I'll, 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 we'll continue that, with the question For being that far into space. In the future, I don't want to spend much more time on this, but um, well, yeah. just just wrap it up. You want to give me a? Quick, I mean, we we can. I, if the, you're getting into it now, what, what I mean, it? I'm down I, just to I go did, ahead and ruin uh, it. Um, like um, to fill you guys in, I did watch the YouTube trailer. Uh, first result that came up, and they are transporting the ultimate weapon. Ultimate weapon. So conclude the movie. Thirty. It, it, uh, it's the cybernetic sex doll looking robots that have a positronic uh, beam that comes out of their head that melts everyone into goo. Yeah, which was really and they're neat. transporting it. And the, the guy that Be, because because this whole like gal at this point like almost everything is owned by the corporation, which I think was technically mm-hmm. I was reading some Reddit posts about it. I think the actual that was the hot dog company. Like that was supposed to be satire. Like at some point in the future, Oscar Mayer becomes the biggest corporation in the world and just I takes over. That was supposed to. Be. Oh, you, yeah. you yeah. guys, I could see he, that. That was the company. You guys didn't read the uh, the Forbes article, you know? <laughs> no. Hell Be- no. Bezos, Bezos bought you know Oscar Mayer Wiener and yeah, but yeah. Um, but they're trying to uh, take over the, the Earth government. Yeah, they're like, yeah, send this dumb space trucker man with this cargo that he cannot unhook, yeah. and just just send it that way. Uh, and okay, you, and how does the movie end? There's space pirates too. Yeah, there's space pirates too. You get to see a half robotic Tywin Lannister try to start his penis with a pull crank, and you get to see full ass cheeks. But the ro- but he has robotic, robot side ass cheeks. Yeah, roboticized his ass, both of his ass cheeks. He still has a human ass crack, which I thought was <laughs> fucking funny. But <laughs> both cheeks, uh, both cheeks, both cheeks. Same huh. same weird like um, paint. Or, I don't know. It's, it, this is a weird. I, movie. I cannot remember the guy's name, but you both would have known him from anime or something. The guy that designed those robots, which was a dude in a suit, which I thought those was cool. look like fucking mm-hmm. it's super advanced putties. Yeah, yeah the guy they that did. Uh, developed them is or, or designed them. Excuse me, not developed. He is uh, the same guy who came up like with sexy female robots in Japan. Is like it that scre- kind of style is it of screaming art? Mad George? No, it's oh. some Japanese name I can't oh, remember. Oh, the top the, of my head. There's another. If you want to hear their ending, we're about to wrap up. But there's another key point at the beginning. So you have uh, 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 Stephen Dorff and um, well, Den- Dennis, D- Hopper? Dennis Hopper. Yeah. And then we have our female. I can't remember that actress's name. Freeza Fre- Balk. I think. Big big weird. Ma- no no it was, no, it was, no, it was something. It was on the trailer. Yeah, Mar- Debbie Mazar. Mar- yeah. yeah, Debbie Mazar. Yeah. 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 yeah, so you have uh, weird Debbie looking. Uh, Debbie, those Debbie Mazar and Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper uh, yeah, told the Debbie Mazar he'd get her to and Earth to see her yeah. mother if uh, and yeah, if she family. did that, um, he'd be engaged to her. And so he's like twice her age. It's kind of creepy. Um, and so then she falls in love with Stephen Dorff. And Dennis Hopper at the end, he he likes the guy, so he's like, and you know, I'm going to let you go out, let you out of this engagement. It was a silly thing. And so then you get to Earth, and the whole reason she wanted to go to Earth was to see her sit, her mother who was coming out of some sort of procedure. And then you come to find out she's been cryogenically frozen, so she Stay looks just down. like her daughter. Fine. So I think she looks way fine. Well, yeah. Her so then it's like, well, Dennis Hopper's got someone to fuck now too, so it all works out. Yeah, she's but the hottest sixty-eight but, year old. But also with the whole like. Them not having sturdy portholes into the <laughs> void of space. The the fucking president shows up at the end in the hospital room with them. Yes, yeah. he was trying to take over. And you, and you find out he's he's in the beginning of the movie. He ends up killing the scientists who made the robots. Blah blah blah. He's evil. He is now president at this point. Like he's I guess within a few days or hours of his presidency. I think kind of like the joke was that actually they didn't need the robots in the first place. They got so powerful, they just took a president. Yeah, yeah, they just took over planet the whole. He's president of the world. Either way, he's like, okay, hey, I'm gonna give you this money. You're gonna shut the fuck up. You're not gonna mm-hmm. say anything about those fucking robots because I got his name from somebody dealing with the that knew about the robots, and uh, they were like, yeah. Or at first they were like, no, we're gonna 
you know, we can't keep it, keep it quiet. And then Dennis Hopper's like, shut the fuck up. Both of you shut the fuck up. Yes, sir. We'll take the money. Thank you. And he's like, and, you know, I bought you a new big rig since yours exploded. And he's like, okay, and, you know, all this money, your your mother's hospital bills are paid for. Gives him a briefcase full of um, credits or something. Space dollar. No, here's the thing. He gets <laughs> into his car and then, like, up, upstairs in the room, they're like, you take the money. I don't want to fucking take that money. Stephen Fuck Dorf's you. Like it's fucking wrong. And Stephen Dorff throws it through the window and breaks the window. It just so just at the right time when the president's just sat back down in his limo. And it, back in his limo, hadn't left. He pulls out this detonator. A detonator, and he's like, "All right, fuck it," and blows them. But the <laughs> shit's like on the roof of his limo, <laughs> and kills them, and they're like, "Oh, there he goes." But then, <laughs> but then. But then oh God. So the movie good. ends. They're in his new big rig that the president bought him. Why would you buy a fucking big rig for you're somebody that him. you're planning to kill literally <laughs> minutes after you told him about said big rig? Why would that? Why? There's a lot of weird and they, I guess they paid this on the mom's hospital bill, too. So yeah. Why yeah. go to the effort? Why? Why? If you plan on killing them, why go to the effort? Guys. You just go in there and guys. lie to them. This Why not, are you so quiet, Jamie? This no. is not a Shakespearean. <laughs> I don't give You're a breaking fuck. down you, you plot it's holes a logical from inf- a 1996 <laughs> movie that looked like a rejected episode. Power Rangers. And, you, and you know why? Because no, no one else will. Because because no one else will. Lou Dobson said, "Someone, we're doing the fucking man hours. We're putting the work." It's not like we're one of those fancy podcasts up there, the you know, but, but, reviewing but, but, ableist movies. But as much no, good as question. I, as fine much, question. Yeah, which I don't know. I'm a I'm a stickler. I can't suspend <laughs> my animation because I'm dead inside or something for for much. Okay. Well, you know what? I wanna I wanna give you um, an explanation here. What if president's dead? No one can ask him. So. Maybe he told a bunch of people, I'm going to buy this trucker a new big rig because his got blown up. So they went to the big rig, you know, so, so, so. At, um, Emporium and said, hey, we're those two guys, you know, that saved the universe. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's us. See, yeah, the president said, but he okay, said he's buying this new truck. No, that, so. no that's, why, that's where you get shot in the mouth uh, in your sleep and roll the suicide because... Um, <laughs> Okay, no, no, listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Oh, if, I was you, if I was the president and I was planning on killing a motherfucker, I am definitely not tying it to me in the fucking slightest. Him even going to visit and making a, a public, appearance. Uh, public or, appearance is fucking up if you're planning on murdering somebody. Unless, um, unless you're in a world where you're just like, yeah, I'm president now, and you just, everyone just like, oh, he's a fucking terrible dictator. Okay, cool. I don't know. I mean, tacking on to what JB said, it's almost like establishing an alibi in a certain way because, okay, if uh, if he blows them up, he can turn around and say, well, no, it couldn't have been me because, look, I also did all the other things I agreed to do. Ooh, I bought I him an but, but, and a trip. And I, I paid for this. I paid for these ladies. Um, Why would I pay for these ladies' bills if I was about to blow her up? Plausible yeah. deniability. Yeah. Pl- so maybe he did tell some people to do those things, like JB was saying. And it got left on the cutter. Yeah. I don't know. It, 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 let's just chalk but it up. I, but I like, it I like, left, I like. It's, it's just stupid. You know, yeah. if we went to to the local gas station and bought it on DVD, we could probably see it in the deleted scenes. Um, Maybe that. Uh, yeah. Let's put it this no. way: we are coming up with better hypotheticals for the writers who wrote this. I'm confident that it wasn't any of those convoluted ways to make it make sense that we just said. They just didn't think. Yeah. But, I mean, regardless of us sitting here shitting on it for a little bit, this actually was not a bad movie. I The the angle it took was way better than what I thought I was about to sit down and watch. Mm-hmm. I thought I was about to watch a movie that was going to try to be funny, oh, yeah. but it was going to be more about space trucking culture. Like Convoy, but in space? Yeah. Or Over the Top or something? I did a lot of trucking themes. But, but, we, but I didn't get that, Wait. and it was yeah. a good movie. Did they talk on space radios or did they talk on space CB radios? Breaker nine or nine or nine? I think it was space CBs because I want to say awesome. she. she I mean, like, I mean, uh, you as the viewer, I am you. We need to see this movie. It's worth uh, a, it's worth a watch, I'd say. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth a watch. I want to. <laughs> when you were having a stroke a couple minutes ago, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you used the phrase. Suspend my animation. <laughs> I mean, suspend my disbelief. Yeah, because it was red in your fucking eyes, and I was like, "Wait, 
I was sitting here thinking like I'm stupid, okay. No, no, no. I was like, can you The sus- thoughts were going too fast like, in my brain. <laughs> Cuz that fit, I was like, can we suspend our own information? I was like, wait, what? Hey, give us a few I years like and we can. I thought like, oh, dude, I've been doing some cool shit. I was I don't know, suspended animation, I guess is yeah, I came I, out, but that's not what I was thinking. Okay, I was about to say, what are you talking about? Because I want to know what suspending your animation was. I've heard of. I was like, what? I know, I'm dumb. No, 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 and no. Th- thought, and thanks for calling me out no, on a, no, no, in a public like forum. I, I thought recorded for precisely. No, I thought posterity. I was like, can we actually suspend stuff like that? I didn't know if you were like, man, I must suspend my cadence. Well, no, um, that's enough. I think that. that's a, a good time. We're going to go back and we're just going to take a quick break to uh, do a little lore here. We were talking about how was this person in this movie? And we look, I looked it up for us on his IMDb. How the hell did they get Dennis Hopper? Dennis Hopper was coming off a run. JB, of- you're not in charge of this podcast. Ooh. I mean, I like Dennis yeah. Hopper, but he did. Oh, damn. I always. Yeah. Quite a while ago now. 2010. Get the gun. Get the gun. <laughs> Where is the gun? All right, everyone ready? First murder on a podcast. <laughs> All right, let's rate. Do you guys want to rate this? Yeah, let's rate and get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know why. Well, I, I don't know why. Jay, I, I don't know why I looked at Jay and be like, what are you ready, <laughs> you bud? First. You hadn't seen it. What do you six, think? Six and a half out of ten based on the trailer. <laughs> I'm going to give it a six. Six out of ten as well. Uh, I give it a five, but only because it's the writing is pretty pretty shitty. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm giving it a five. But I do like that they used mostly practical shit in it, not a lot of CGI. It, I mean, yeah. some things had to be. But yeah, a lot of sets. It was the, the robots were real. Yeah, like I said, I like this movie. And the half machine guy was real. Uh, yeah. Charles Dance. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hudson, you want to wrap up? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll give it a six out of ten. I think that's about fair. Okay, cool. So five and three sixes are potential six. Based on the trailer? Yeah. Yeah. Because that was a way better trailer than what we fucking yeah, got. We just saw a scene. Yeah, Amazon Prime fucked us up. I could hear one. you watching, and I was like, that's a real trailer. God damn it. I didn't get that. Okay. A lot of 90s boobs in the trailer, by the way. Uh, Not boobs, yeah. but. Yeah. When, yeah. Did, when did 90s boobs turn into 2000s boobs? The, the year 2000. And that's the end of the podcast. All right, we'll catch everyone later. Peace. Bye. Fuck you.